Yo guys, insanegamer 52 here, and today I'm going to show you how to beat the Seofra River underground area and get the Ancestral Follower Ashes in Elden Ring. Alright, so to get to the Seofra River, you have to go down the Seofra River well in Limgrave. Once you're down here, make your way through the ruins to get to one of the most beautiful areas in the whole game, the Seofra Riverbank. Now you'll see a much more open area with some ruins to the east, but if you walk up to the ruins, you won't be able to do anything. First, you need to solve a little puzzle in order to activate the Horned Remains in the Hallow Horned Grounds to get teleported to the boss fight. So if you look at the stairs leading up to the ruins, you will see that there are 8 obelisks around it. What you need to do is find the 8 corresponding obelisks around the area to light their flames and restore the power to the Horned Remains. You can tell how many you've already found by looking at how many of the obelisks by the stairs have fires lit above them. Alright, so starting from the CO for Riverbank side of Grace, the first obelisk is in the middle of the river right in front of you. The second one is to the northwest, up the hill in this little nook area. The third one is to the east, past the broken bridge supports on this small island. The fourth one is even more to the east, way at the edge of the map. The fifth one is to the north, on the edge of the river, right past another broken bridge support. The sixth one is to the northwest, on the other side of the river, against this cliff wall. The seventh one is to the northeast, on the edge of this path, next to a small cliff. And the 8th and final obelisk is to the west at the end of that same small cliff. For a complete visual representation, here's the map with the order that I just listed. Once you have all 8 of the obelisks lit, head back to the Hallowhorn Grounds and interact with the Horned Remains at the end of the ruins. This will teleport you to a secret cave somewhere else on the map for the boss fight. There isn't a site of grace here, but there is a Statue of America in case you die. Honestly, this boss wasn't very difficult, so you shouldn't need to do anything special in order to beat him. He does prance around a lot, so he's not super easy to hit with melee attacks, but as long as you have a summon to help distract him, you should be fine. Once you beat the Ancestral Spirit boss, you will get the Ancestral Follower Ashes. These ashes are honestly one of the best normal summons. They're those annoying spirit vikings who were shooting arrows at you when you were running around the Seofra River area. They don't compare to the upper tier renowned summons, but I'd say they're B tier and give solid support for a reasonable FP cost. If you found any part of this guide helpful, let me know by dropping a thumbs up. And feel free to subscribe for more in-depth guides in the future. Alright, that's all I got. I'll see you guys next time.